for tonight. Sorry I'm so late. <laughs> Hi everybody. No questions? Oh, really? Just boss. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed as soon as we get going. Almost. Okay, yep, we'll talk about McAllen. It's Tuesday. Aw, oh, oh, you guys are cool. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, you guys. Awesome. And I do have a few updates, too. Um, all righty. Let me... Wait till they just want more. Aw, that's cool. And we got to see what's in the box. So, okay. Hang on a second. Let me write down a couple of things. with Weasley. Um, he's awesome. Huh, Weasley. Weasley, turn around and say hi. There you go. We got uh, we got one box, big size box, and then we have a few updates. And I'm going to go scoop inside. Then I'm going to disappear. Ooh. I see a paper. Kathy's here again tonight. She's gonna. What are you gonna do tonight? The fix that and then write some cat ones in the Okay. She wrote a really cool thing on the back um, door the, in Kitty Campus Room. She's just gonna highlight it a little bit tonight. And then uh, last last week, wasn't it? You. She usually paints, puts a new coat solid on before she paints her um, sayings on it. What do you know? What you're gonna write? Um, Only my cat understands me. Only my cat understands me. And all I need to know I learned from my cat. And there's the one about taking a nap. So you're going to write a separate one on each door yeah. drawer? She's going to do the three green drawers over here like where behind where Dorothy is. You know, tomorrow when um, she's done, I can actually move the cam and shine it over there. That sounds like a diesel truck. Mm -hmm. um, uh oh, we don't have an owner for this. So, life is hard, then you nap. Oh, I like that too. <laughs> I, life is hard, then you nap. So, yeah, let me I'm get these home things home. out and maybe is... Uh, is our secretary on tonight? Or not? I guess I can keep track of this one since it's only one. We have um, oh, uh, Frisky Prime Slays, a 24 pack. So hopefully somebody. I don't know, Weasley. Oh, where is Weasley? Did he get down? 
Oh, jeez. I did. Okay. Oh. I thought I squished him, Dorothy. Oh. He was here and now he's gone. He's okay. He's obviously got down by himself. Um, so maybe somebody can um, claim this for me. It's Frisky's Filets 24 pack. And since today was Tuesday, Judy, my sister Judy was here and she's got all the food so wonderfully organized. Oh, look at this. The spring toys. You guys know what we do with these. They go out the door with every. Um, Every adoption, there's Weezy, he's okay. Every adoption goes out of here with these. There's 10 of them in here. They have so much fun with these. Do you remember how, uh, uh, which kitty was that? Oh, Cabbage. Cabbage loves his, uh, his, uh, spring. We got a frisky. Oh, good. This is a frisky pack. I think this is 24 in here. Yep, it's 20. Oh, these are the, the these these are good. They like that. 24 pack. I guess we can we can just keep it in there. Farrah can't get in, or uh, Octavia can't get into that one. So we got a 24 pack of this. This is just like uh, 12. 12 more cans of frisky fancy piece size. And this one is, could it be? Maybe it is. I think no. It's chicken. Mm -hmm. I use it. Um, these special kind of things like this, I'm, I mix up the best breakfasts. I do. Do you eat it too? I do try to eat some of the sardines. <laughs> they love these. You know, it's, it's a regular chicken, Hormel. And uh, when I mix my breakfasts, I always, I've been adding a can of that at least a couple times a week. And yeah, they love the chicken. And uh, uh, a Twinkle, Twinkle loves this chicken. And so does Ma Magenta loves this. Aww. Kathy just drew me a picture. So thank you. Do we know who sent this? Yeah, one for Kathy, one for Kitty, just like the sardines. Oh, King Margo sent the box? Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Let me write that down. Oh, or Dorothy. She sent your cat food cookbook. My what? Your cat food cookbook. <laughs> Martha, could you write, um, Key, Key, it's, uh, Key Margo. Key Margo down on that. Is okay. Key Margo on? Well, she must be on. She is. Thank you. Thank you, Key Margo. It's probably not still right. That It's like Key Largo, but Key Margo. Oh. Thank you, Key Lar Margo. I, this is great. I appreciate this so very much. You guys are all awesome. I got to tell you about what happened today. And uh, I was uh, sure making you guys, we, well, you guys, some of you guys got to meet the a uh, lady who did an interview with us here today, but um, we got a call this morning, and uh, yeah, we don't want anybody to be hungry because these kitties turn into little monsters when they're hungry, <laughs> and even when they're only half hungry. But I got a call this morning from Crescent. Our local newspaper is Crescent News. It's a daily newspaper other than Saturdays, and this lady called up, and she said, um, that she had just was informed that a local organization had um, was on Ustream and that we had over a hundred or we had over a million uh, total views and actually it's it's a million three hundred thousand views which just is mind boggling to me. So she wanted they wanted to do a, an article on on the rescue center and the main idea was with the web you you webcam viewers. So I thought that was pretty cool, and um, so she came out, and we talked a long time out in the office, and went over lots and lots of uh, little bits of information about how what the web cameras mean to the rescue center and the support you give, and talked a lot about volunteers, our volunteers here, 
like these two, and um, it was really good. So I think maybe it might be in the Crescent tomorrow, and if it is, uh, we can probably give you guys the link to the Crescent News. That way maybe you can read it also. So I'll see how it is. Um, yeah, it was... Um, Belinda, maybe, was the reporter. Began with a B. I'm so bad on names other than cat names. So uh, that should be in tomorrow. So I was excited that they wanted to do that for the Rescue Center. Yes, McAllen, Bethany. Thank you. i got to write that down, too. Bethany. Now, if she was a kitty, I would remember that right away. Oh, you are such a mess. McAllen is back. Uh, apparently the kids and the family has allergies, so McAllen is back. So he'll go back up for adoption. We'll change his um, status on pet finders. They brought back, they donated a carrier and they brought back his incline scratch thing and a bunch of toys. And I think is there food too over there, Dorothy? I know. I, I, I think there or some there's something else over there. Uh, love them, love them. In the scratch pad, the incline board. Loved him, loved him. Um, you know, when you have a doctor saying, should should get rid of the kitties, you know, what do you do? It's just kind of heartbreaking for me and um, for him for the kitty. But he's an awesome cat. He did well, and we'll get him another home. You guys, when you see Connie D on, you have to all please, please tell her, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She fills in any time that I have a... Uh, someone that can't show up, Connie fills in for me, and I don't know what I would do without her. That's what Yeah, for his bowl, and they sent a toy of his. Yeah, some treats and canned food and the dry food, so uh, that's nice of him. Yeah, so tell Connie thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. And um, I appreciate her so much. The other thing I wanted to update you on is Kitty City. We have been working like crazy people here today. It was, I need to thank um, Judy S., Paul. Uh, Kurt helped this morning. He's still sick, but he's feeling better. And um, Linda T. and Sigrid all helped us today. We all worked so very much. And... Got it. And this morning, uh, Kitty City was still Kurt's workshop, and he, while he was putting the shelves all the way back on and secured in, uh, we were organ helping to organize his, his tools. So he's got all his stuff now in a separate shed, so he's organized with that. And we scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed Kitty City, got all the sawdust out of it, the walls are done, the windows, Sigrid did clean the windows, they look great. We just cleaned and scrubbed and it looks wonderful. We even swept all the furniture that is in there and the place looks awesome. Uh, Kurt came out and took a bunch of pictures. I'm pretty sure he's going to put, put them on his Flickr account, so maybe tomorrow, maybe we'll have them on there. But uh, Martha's going to come out Thursday at 9.30. Thursday at 9.30, and we will start um, bringing in the kitties. So there's 15 of them that get moved from Cash Cove up here to Kitty City. And what we'll do is we'll work right... 15, it was 16. It was 17 and 16. Of it. We'll count them. We'll count them. Um, but we'll work right over here, and we check each of their individual health records to see if they need an update on their distemper vaccine. We'll make sure that their flea prevention is up to date. We reworm them um, and check their teeth and clean their ears and trim nails if we have to, and we try to get weight. Now, not all of them is that cooperative. Um, yeah. Uh, because it's strange and different in here and so it kind of puts them on edge a little bit but we will do the best that we can to get all that done and then we'll bring them up to the camera for you guys to see so um, Mr. Bake or oh gosh my eyes Baker's Cat is coming Friday 
Let me know about what time, or did we talk about that? Yeah, because so I can put it on the calendar. Um, so that's Thursday at 9.30. We'll get started, and, and we'll just kind of... We'll be nice if we could get one more person to do the rotating and... No, Connie probably won't get to help that morning. I'd rather go on the kitchen. And you bring them in. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of them that have a little trouble. We waited last year. Yeah, Soy Boy and Charlie and Simone. Simone uh, once in a while has a little seizures, but that's only only when when he's moved and extra stress. But he'll be okay. No, he's not hard to catch. Yeah. Okay, um, I think that that's all. Unless you guys have a quick question. <clears throat> Diane, you're coming tomorrow? Diane, Diane, Diane. Ouch. Take some tea. Yeah, in the morning. Okay, <clears throat> I'm here in the morning. Sometime early afternoon, I got to buzz out and see my mom and dad, but you can come anytime. Go to bed. Yeah, I got somebody at the door yet I got to do. What did Patty do? He did? He did? Patty Cake? Patty Cake or Patty Purr? I'm appalled. <laughs> Patty Cakes, I knew. As soon as you said Pat P, it had to be Patty Cakes, because remember he did that one other night? He and I have to have a very serious talk. <laughs> she got a detail. Scratch, 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 P, and off you went, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. About that you okay, because of Tugger, I didn't even... <laughs> yeah, we're going to put him in Depends All Right. Caught on camera, and he didn't even know it. I wasn't going to see the Mm -hmm. he and I yeah, guys, I didn't stitch on me. <laughs> yeah, we have to have a serious talk <laughs> with that boy. Um, Key Margo, thank you so very much for the food and the toys. Uh, that was in that cupboard. I think there's room yet. And sure do appreciate you. Don't blame Tugger. Uh, you guys are awesome. And uh, I really want you all to be able to get a chance to read the... Um, news article because it, it is it's about your webcamers what movie did you see we saw Jack Jack and Jill it was good it was funny and popcorn was great I even got butter on it tonight yeah <laughs> he is handsome can you call me tomorrow Robin ooh, ooh. Robin are you the one that's looking at um, Lilo Robin I think you are. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll write it down on my board to call you. I think I have your number because you gave it to me on an email. Okay, I got a, got on the counter today. Did she use the steps, Tommy? Yes, about Lilo. Okay. Did, did Bella use the steps to get up on the counter? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, when I got here, she was on the phone. Exactly. So, but I, yeah, but I didn't see how she got up. So you know what? I have never, ever seen Bella up there by herself. No. That's she was cool. there when, we, when I got here. That's I don't, pretty cool. Now, Brenda was here before, so maybe Brenda was yeah. Well, we'll move the stairs down, stairs down there to the yellow table for tonight then. Wow. Yeah, she can jump down, but she can't jump up. Cool. Okay, I'm going to go see what's going on at the door, and I've already left McCallan out, so you will see him and his, um, and his brother. Kathy, I'm going to just step over I got one. Oh, oh, okay. Are you? Martha, can you put that in the door behind you? Dorothy, can you put that in the door? Yeah. 